Hey everyone, Chris here, ChrisPirelloDesign.com. It's been a long time. I've been very busy. Uh, I started my own graphic design business, and uh, it's it's been a it's been an experience. I've neglected making some videos for you guys, but I'm back, and I'm gonna make some start making some more videos. This is from a photo shoot that I did uh, last month. And the reason that I sh am using this image is I want to show you in Photoshop and in Lightroom Beta 5 how you can remove an object from an image. So in this image, we're going to remove remove him right here. And let's I I haven't messed with this image yet, so the outcome is not going to be probably perfect, but what I want to do is show you guys how the content aware function in Lightroom 5 beta works. I uh, haven't really messed with it too much. I messed with it a little bit with little tiny, maybe like this piece of dirt or sand or whatever that is in the background. Just little things like that, but I have not yet removed an entire person from an image. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I do try to remove a person from this image. So let's go ahead and grab the brush clone healing. What should it be? Obviously it's going to, let's try healing first and see what that does. So what you have to do in order for this to work is you have to click on it in this in this case I'm, I'm using my uh, pen tablet so I'm just holding it down to the tablet and I just go over the image like so and this should if I can do this in one stroke here without accidentally my, my fingers are slipping I feel it it's gonna mess up let's see if I don't I'm gonna go over this whole image of the person here And what it should do is be smart, analyze what's around it, and get rid of it. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there as to what that looks like. That's kind of funny. But anyway, so I let go of it. And see, it shows you actually where it selected the... That's funny. It's select. It's selecting it. So it's not perfect. Let's see what happens. Let's just. Yeah, that looks kind of ugly there in Lightroom. So Lightroom has its limitations. You can't really do it on the entire person that large. Something like this. Boom. You know. Done. I could have made that a little bit smaller, but you get the idea. All right, so let's back out of that because that did not work. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this image and let's go into Photoshop CS6. Open anyway. All right, so let's do it in this image. It should it, it should work a lot better. So let's go over here and let's grab, let's do it this way. Let's grab the quick selection tool, I guess. <clears throat> There's so many different ways that you can do this. Why am I using that? Oh, didn't want to do that. So many different ways. But let's just see. Hopefully it doesn't, oh, look at that. It's, it's so smart I'll tell you what it didn't grab too much of the sand that little bit is just a-okay with me so let's see here yeah 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 all right so <laughs> I still can't get over that last 
image I <laughs> messed with in Lightroom. That was pretty funny. Oh, Lord. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to go down to... <clears throat> Man, my throat is killing me. You want to go down to fill content aware fill and then you hit okay and it's thinking come on think faster look at that I'm gonna tell you what let's deselect that well you know <laughs> I'm such a goofball. I should have I should have gone into refine edge and you know that that would have made it look a lot better. But you know what 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 I can do is I can just grab I'm in such a goofy mood today. Don't know why. That's not a bad thing. I just grab my clone stamp tool. Let's see how that works. Magico. Magico. You know, another way of doing this, so you can just grab your uh, spot healing brush tool right here. Let's make, why is everything so small? Boop. Boop. Oh, Photoshop, where would I be without you? I would be so lost without you, Photoshop. Not really, but... Man, that was so dirty. Not the image I did before, but this is such a dirty Photoshop job. It's not even funny. Holy smokes. As you can see, I'm really just goofing around here. But as of right now, watch this. Da 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 as of right now, the untrained eye can just look at that just by glancing at it. You would not know that I was just being a goofball and everything that I just did to this image. Unless you're editing for a magazine or something. Look at that. I don't <laughs> There is a better way of doing it. I was just being a goofball, but <clears throat> and no, I could not have done that in, in, in Lightroom 5 beta. Everyone is all hooting and hollering about all these things. You know, it still has its limitations. It's not going to do everything that Photoshop can do for you. So that is why it is so important to learn your Photoshop, people. So you can, I don't like that little you know what? I don't like you either. I'm going to get rid of you. Go away. Be gone. That's the thing with the clone stamp tool. You want to do little by little so it doesn't look all nasty or whatever. So there's my quick, dirty, no pun intended, of that last image there in Lightroom. Quick way to remove something from Photoshop from an image in Photoshop or in Lightroom. I, in Lightroom 5, 5 it didn't do all that great but nice try Adobe I know you guys are trying to cater you know it does work to an extent I give it that it has come a long way but I might be going back to Aperture I just think it's nicer. 
But anyway, that's another video. But that's my video on this. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Uh, let me know. You can email me at... Uh, you can just email me at Chris Perello. That's C-H-R-I-S-P-E-R-E-L-L-O at gmail.com with any of your questions, and I'll get back to you. You guys uh, have any images that you would like me to edit for you? Uh, send me an email. I'll edit them for you. And if you're feeling generous, you can go ahead and drop me a uh, uh, little donation there in uh, my PayPal. We'll talk about that when, whenever. But, you know, if you guys need any help with anything, just throw me a line. All right, guys, that's it for today. Talk to you guys later. Peace.